Hello everybody and welcome back to Full Throttle Drive. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. So as you can see, we have the front bumper of my Audi R8 completely removed and that was our last video we did getting it removed and it wasn't too bad. We ran into a small little hiccups. It seems like that happens every time, but we got it off. We got it finally finished and uh, now we have to actually remove all of these plastic pieces and get this front bumper prepped because in today's video we are going to wrap it and that's the best way to do it so we didn't have to mess with all of these different inlays and again I think uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think this wrap is going to go pretty good for this front and all we have left is the rear bumper and the rear quarter panel so we are actually starting to uh, get this project completed so we're really excited for how it will look and to show you guys the finalized product and we have some wheels to possibly get as well to, to help match the the new wrap color but guys thank you so much for joining me on today's video I hope you will enjoy it It never seems to be easy and we have been working for hours on trying to get these plastic inlets out of the front bumper and it has not been easy. We got this like small piece out of here very quickly. Weirdly enough, they are the same looking piece but they're completely two different types. This was two pieces over here and this was all one piece and they would not come out other than this small half piece over here which clipped right out. Very easy. We thought the rest of it was going to be that way. It certainly was not and unfortunately we could not figure out what was going on. Everything was wanting to just sit in there and I was so scared I was going to break something and we were just pulling and we probably have about four hours into working on this. It's about six hours later and uh, I actually ran to the gym and then came back to, to take a breather because we were very frustrated. Come to find out there are melted tabs that are actually melted down plastic that you have to either melt or break off and then remelt into place. So these fins, and let me show you, right here are actually where the, what they were. So this one piece goes over here and then for whatever reason, it's a two piece over here and they work completely different. Like they're both sides have melting to them like where you have to melt, but they're also different pieces. It's hard to explain, but the tabs on them, completely different. If you have any idea why that is the case, please drop it below in the comments. I am very curious at this point, but also very relieved to be done with this because now we can move forward. We're at a point where we're almost thinking about trying to spend a lot of time wrapping it and trying to get the little inlays all the way out. And that's the whole reason we took off the whole front bumper was because we didn't want to do that. We wanted to do it right where we could wrap it in, put these on and everything would look seamless on the front and the front of the car is really important so luckily we're going to be able to do it the way we want and we're really happy about that so we're going to start prepping it and it's going to be a late night tonight but hopefully we can get this bumper completely done <laughs> I just finished cleaning everything on the front bumper and everything looks pretty good. I made sure I cleaned under all the different crevices. As I've told you guys, it's very important that you keep it as clean as possible because the debris don't, uh, does not allow the vinyl wrap to adhere as well as you want it to. You want it to grip it as good and once you actually get the heat applied to it, it will do a better job. And with that debris, again, it just kind of flimsies off and you don't want an edge coming up. So uh, again, we're going to probably just go ahead and start wrapping this. I don't think there's really anything else left to do. We're going to go ahead and make the cut. This is a very long bumper. I think we're going to have to, to cut this piece longer than expected, but uh, we should have plenty of vinyl left to do so. And these inlays are going to be really easy just to cut out and cut around. And so once we put the plastic back in, it's going to look pretty good.
As you can see, we've made quite a bit of good headway here. We've got pretty much everything laid on the edges and a little bit down below, which allowed us to go ahead and flip it up on the table. And now we actually can cut out, start cutting out some of the inlay areas, and that will give us plenty of tension to start pulling. See, some of these areas we're building up with some tension, but once we cut away the areas that we don't need, we can start pulling in that direction. It makes it all the bit easier. This piece in general, other than getting those plastic little uh, gills out of the way, has not been bad at all. So luckily, uh, it looks like it's gonna go pretty solid. So we're gonna go ahead and finish everything up now. All right, so as you can see, we finally finished all of the right side inlays. We've pretty much got everything laid and it went pretty well. We're not exactly sure how far we should cut in, so we're gonna kind of be generous with it. I think the front kind of bumper grill actually comes flush with the front of this, so I don't think it matters if we cut it early or kind of shorter, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, inlay things a little bit deeper than probably need be. So. We're pretty much done. All we gotta do is do the small trimmings, which does take a while, uh, but for the most part, we're making pretty good headway. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig in? As you can see, we are completely done with the front bumper and it looks really good. Uh, pretty much everything went fine after we finally got these very difficult little uh, gills off of the front, but we got everything rearranged and reassembled and no other hiccups doing that. We got the little sensors in and the sides. We're thinking about possibly doing a honeycomb grill. All we have to do is pop off. Uh, the bolts that we put back into place. So that could be a uh, potential since we already have this off and you have to pull off this whole front bumper to do so. But guys, that is gonna take care of it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you found it informative. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already uh, part of our community. And as well, if you have any questions regarding how to do this, drop them below. We'd be more than happy to, to help and assist since we have already done so. But guys, thank you. And as always, take care. We'll see you next video.